And now your exclusive Storm Team 3 forecast from KTVO. And we are taking a look at the sky cam, another look at it because we do have the clear skies and the sun is beginning to set, a beautiful evening shaping up. Uh, just look at that picture. Well, we do have the increasing clouds of what we're going to be seeing as we're heading into the overnight hours. Rain chances, and we do have above normal temperatures as well. Really not much going on across the local radar right now with clear skies and dry conditions. Temperature-wise, 59 degrees right now at the Kirksville Regional Airport. Very light winds out of the east at around 6 miles per hour. It's Humwa, 57 degrees, so just a couple of degrees cooler with winds out of the east at around 6 miles per hour. Temperatures will continue to fall, in fact, uh, into the 40s, 45 degrees at 11 o'clock, holding pretty steady into the mid-40s as we're heading into the overnight hours. We'll start to see those clouds increasing by 7 a.m. We're waking up to cloudy skies and about 44 degrees at 7 in the morning on your Tuesday. So. Uh, again, we've got uh, clear skies right now. We'll start to see those clouds rolling in during the overnight hours. That's because we've got a storm system pushing in from the northern plains. It's going to bring us a chance for rain as we're heading throughout the day on Tuesday. 44 degrees, though, as your overnight low for tonight with light winds out of the southeast at around 5 miles per hour. Well, you're going to need your umbrella possibly on your home, way home from school and work tomorrow into the afternoon. It's about a 30% chance, a better chance for those showers and could hear a few rumbles of thunder throughout the overnight hours. Anytime after 1 o'clock in the morning, uh, no severe weather is expected. We'll continue that very early on Wednesday morning. Most of this activity should be out of here by 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Otherwise, we'll start to see those clouds decreasing as we're heading into Wednesday night. Looking on the lighter amounts, we do need the rain, especially into southeast Iowa, where they are still remain in and normally dry conditions. Not receiving very much, anywhere from about a quarter to a half an inch across southeast Iowa and northeast Missouri. Temperatures on Tuesday, about 62 degrees with breezy conditions out of the southeast at 5 to 15, gusting up to 20 miles per hour. Here's the extended five-day forecast. Temperature-wise for the next five days, we will remain above normal. 65 degrees on Wednesday. There's that 70% chance of rain. 63 as we're heading into Thursday. Friday, though, a nice warm up, 74 degrees. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds, but cooling down into the weekend on Saturday, 63. Overnight lows into the 50s and 40s. Of course, anytime, check us out 24 7 at KTVO.com. So, great evening way, uh, shaping up right mm -hmm. now. Uh, we've got rain chances into Tuesday and the first part of Wednesday, but then the rest of the week, a very pleasant. Like in Friday, 74 right. degrees. And earlier when I heard you mention clear skies, that sounds like a good thing, but that also means it gets colder at night, too. It does get it? colder, yeah. We so, don't have those yeah. uh, clouds to kind of keep mm -hmm. us as a blanket, mm -hmm. to keep us warmer, so to speak. Yep. See, I uh, do pay attention somewhat. You do. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. Gold star for Johnny. Yeah. Today. <laughs> Thanks, Tracy. Coming up next in sports, Fred has the...